The Moldova 2019 trip is a three-week trip that will take us through former East Germany to Czech Republic, continuing to Slovakia, to Ukraine, then crossing the border to Moldova, to Chisinau to see the non-government organization Open Health, continuing to Romania, into Serbia, and then into Montenegro and Dumitor, then into Bosnia and Herzegovina, to Croatia, into Slovenia. After a week in the Italian Alps, we will be riding back home via Prague. So I better turn off the uh, camera. Oh my god, that was crazy. Um, they really didn't want... Uh, my drone was too expensive and uh, they told me to leave it in uh, Slovakia. Which I obviously was not going to do. So either I had to return and not enter Ukraine or... or yeah, I don't know. But uh, no way I was going to leave the drone in Slovakia and then ride into Ukraine. So I thought that... Um, we, I tried to explain, you know, what the purpose was, and it was non-commercial and all these kind of things, um, which it is. And I'm not making any money on the stuff that I do. So I asked them if I could pay some import toll, uh, VAT, or something like that, and they said no. So I packed up my stuff, prepared to go back to uh, Slovakia and then uh, they came to me and said that uh, if this was for tourism it was okay, I could bring it. Oh man, what an ordeal, that was crazy. That was so crazy. But now we're in Ukraine. Are we here? We're in Ukraine. And we're just two and a half kilometer from uh, meeting Rova. So we are very, very close to. Uh, the hotel. night with uh, the owner of the hotel uh, riding uh, as well um, we had a lot of shots and there was it, it turned a little while um, to the point where we had to ah no uh, let's we need to go to bed now and that was uh, like 12 in the 12 a.m. so it wasn't too late it was just crazy weird he had this uh, place it's just uh, a bar dedicated to uh, Russia. Ooh, just lots of guns. Um, obviously, they weren't loaded or anything. But so right now, I'm just waiting for um, breakfast. Uh, I'm already in my gear, and I am almost regretting that a little bit. It is crazy hot today. So. so. <laughs> Yeah, we are on our way out of Uchorut. 29 degrees already, and it's uh, we got a little late start today. Breakfast was not served before uh, nine o'clock. So we are riding uh, Ukraine right now. It's a wonderful morning, beautiful day. It's warm, 27 degrees. I uh, hope it'll be a little cooler in the mountains when we get there. 
but it will be a warm day for sure and everybody seems to be speeding I just don't want to be uh, pulled over by the police having speeding it's, uh, that's where you get into trouble so this is uh, towards the track to uh, the Spas 03 Troboscatter radio station the uh, well it's not there anymore it's just uh, I think it's just ruins of, of, of the foundation you can't tell it has ever been a radio station unless you know what they look like um, there are no antennas, satellite dishes or anything like that as far as I know bit of a gnarly road almost at the top I need to negotiate this one there we go ah, bad choice bad choice ah. that's okay oh here we are there's a four by fours up there wow look at that it's isn't that amazing? Oh, that one was easier. <laughs> but they were, that one was more fun. So it's uh, back down the hill. Took a couple of pictures, mostly with um, a video, mostly with a drone. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting. Woo! Place this uh, pavement is really really smooth, and all of a sudden, oh, that's too many bucks, and I need to. And all of a sudden, the potholes start again.
it's uh, time for our lunch. We just went to this mountain uh, with the uh, Stropo Scats on the radio station. Well, I was left with it. A bit. And we ended up at this uh, restaurant. Right here, let's go in the shade so you can see what's going on. The server's taking orders in Ukrainian. Managed by Ruben and other guys. It's hot like hell. And over here is a pool where the locals swim. So this area apparently has some um, salt, natural mineral water springs or something like that. So people are coming here. This is kind of a local touristy area that people come to, to swim in, in that healing water. This is pretty cool. And I'm sure that those uh, cabins are, well, it's actually more houses and they have aircon and whatnot. Something you can rent. So let's go in and sit with the others because it's crazy hot here. Uh, it's about 20 degrees, sorry, 30 degrees. about sounded like a police but uh, I don't see any police so um, the fence that actually marks the border to uh, Romania so uh, just across the river is uh, Romania so that is Romania over there so next up is uh, not the center of the universe but uh, according to some uh, Russian uh, scientists back in the days it is the uh, uh, geographical center of Europe I believe that it has been disputed but then again I think that most geographical centers have been disputed I'm not sure I think it uh, depends on how how you measure the center if it's uh, you know distance like a in a radius or it's a land mass or I don't know Bikes first? Yeah, yeah. I will make it Oh yeah, that one. The selfie. Yeah. So I have now marked my territory. Like a dog pissing in the corners. Today has been really 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 uh, warm. Uh, my dashboard said uh, 30 40 degrees at some point. So we're pretty much you know soaking wet all over all those souvenir shops and the bikes hello, hello. hello. they sell all kinds of hello. I don't know what they sell well I know what they sell but I don't know where it's coming from maybe they make it make it themselves maybe they buy it I don't know and there seems to be some sort of restaurant over there and look at this uh, this bridge it's a train track that runs over the um, the river how beautiful is this
so I have it's been warm as I said I had the pleasure of uh, being accompanied by uh, Betty by Betty's Wallocks the entire day and I need a shower badly here the room is like a wooden cabin but all the facilities toilet shower and the bed so it's a bit messy because I have already I, I maybe I should have video recorded it before I uh, took a shower but I really really needed a shower badly and uh, Let's go outside. Ms. Vova, you FaceTime in with your kid? Yeah. Cool. Could be done. There's a garden gnome. A shepherd. A lot of people coming here. It's a popular place. Let's go up to the others. <laughs> Again, I have pretty nice connection. I was just FaceTiming with my kids. Okay, how are they? So this is downtown Rakiv. How do you pronounce Rakiv? Rakiv. Rakiv. And we are going to have a beer and some food. Completely the same procedure as yesterday and the day before and the day before. Perhaps not the exact same procedure as last night. No, uh, I, hope, I was too I crazy. <laughs> Tony bumped into me. Tony's from the mod guard. Totally.